Welcome back on the VST channel. This here is the Google Pixel 7a. This is the latest Pixel device from Google and it finally got yesterday the Android 14 developer beta 3. And that's guys a big announcement. Why? Because Android 14 beta 3 already reaches platform stability, which actually means that all the vendors, all the application makers out there now have access to all the final APIs and they can start testing their games, their software, their apps for app compatibility. And it will also allow Google to further work on the Android 14 beta and yeah, bring us the final thing in hopefully two months. And big news for the Pixel 7a because the Pixel 7a was left out of the Android 14 beta program until now. So there are really a lot of new things guys to be shown. I'm really excited and yeah, you know how it goes. If you like videos like these guys, honest reviews, if you like tech news, you might as well want to support the channel guys and I might as well start showing you some of the things that we can see and touch on the Android 14. This is going to shape the future of Android 14 and I already have it on the Pixel 7a. So buckle up and let's start. The first thing I want to start is absolutely fantastic, it's gorgeous and I really love it and it's very obvious and this is the new wallpaper and lock screen and clock style design guys. So we can just see I'm right now using the always on display. I want to show you first the animation going from the always on display to the lock screen which I believe is absolutely fantastic and I'm so happy to see this finally in a pixel device from Google. Now you might as well also recognize that this is not the standard pixel clock and there are plenty of things attached to these guys not only do we have new animations like for example if I just slightly have a touch here we're gonna get this nice and bouncing effect if I also am to hold here with the finger guys I'm gonna get the button to customize the lock screen which eventually will get me to this new menu so one of the first biggest changes in Android 14 allows Google to showcase the latest wallpaper and style menu Right, so if you go inside guys, you are gonna get access to all the brand new features. Um, I wanna start of course with the lock screen. I really find this amazing and I do understand that I probably sound a bit more excited than I am, but it really takes Google a lot of time to just get to these small things that we already have in things like One UI and even OS and MIUI and ColorOS and OxygenOS. And for Google to just use the Pixel UI and introduce this level of customizability and functionality is actually quite great and I really love to see where this will take us. So I'm showcasing right now guys all the new clocks so you can select from different options. There is also here a settings to adjust the clock size and the color. So let's say from the color there are also new color options and they're absolutely fantastic guys. You can just see what happens every time you touch the color. You're able to choose these beautiful colors directly from this predefined color palette guys and not only via here but also see this slider right I really love that one with this slider you can play with the hue and even get crazier colors now this is the color by the way this doesn't really work for most of the styles if you get to this style for example you can only change the colors but it will work with pretty much all the other clocks and I can just showcase right now boom it's there it's really fantastic guys the next option is to change the size so right now I'm using a dynamic size which will adjust according to the content that is displayed on my lock screen and I can always fix it to a small size I guess that the potential for customization is really huge and you can also guys change all the color palette from your team directly from here and in Android 14 Better 3 they of course have the standard wallpaper colors but they also brought more color options so potentially you are now able to do plenty of stuff. I really love it and this is why I'm high because it really takes Google a lot of years to just get to this and start offering some basic customization. But that's not all guys. So lock screen you see that we have the standard buttons let me just demonstrate if I am now to fire my lock screen again the animations are absolutely beautiful you see that I have the camera icon and the wallet icon and this is not standard guys I actually changed that one you can click here on the shortcuts right and on the left shortcut you can use home camera wallet do not disturb right and on the right shortcut guys you can use whatever you want like the camera so right now if I am to just introduce again my lock screen guys you're gonna see that I'll have here the do not disturb button and also the camera button so this new 
wallpaper and style is really very powerful and I am really happy to finally see Google adapting it, right? It's very powerful, not because it has these crazy functions, but because it's Google and they know how to do things. I, it's really very optimized and the animations and everything else really work flawlessly on a Pixel 7a device, which is exactly not a flagship device, right? But it's still the latest Google Pixel phone. And if you are keen to understand the camera possibilities, guys, I did all the reviews comparing it to the iPhone 14 Pro and the S23 Ultra and also my Xiaomi 13 Ultra. So go and check all the other videos and please allow me to show you all the other fun stuff that I managed to discover for you in Android 14 Beta 3. Now, have in mind that reaching platform stability means that this is more or less gonna be almost the final Android 14 product. But let's keep going. There are more new stuff I wanna show you. Google also changed the charging animation. So in this test, guys, I am going to hook up my Pixel 7 to 8 charger and check the animation. Boom, you have this beautiful color that is passing by like a wave and then also pay attention to what is going to happen on the right corner i'm just going to do this one more time guys for you so that you can just see how beautiful this is one more time wait wave and now we have here this new animation also new from android 14. they also changed the layers here of the standard screenshot so the button now are a bit more aligned to the overall design language that we have in pixel phones and by the way we can also see this in some of the other menus they are introducing more and more material ui controls. I now have the option to check the battery saver, but what is more important is that it is already using the material UI. And this language, this design language is also to be seen in the notification. So they are bringing more and more from this sweet material UI theming, which will again shape not only the Android 14, but also One UI 6 and every other operating system out there like MIUI, like ColorOS that are using the Android as a core. One more example here. You see all these toggles, guys, are themed dynamically using the material UI. How are we sure? Well, I can always go back to wallpaper and style and I can try to change the theme mapping here, guys. So let me just go for this color, okay? I am now gonna go and reload here and boom! See, the colors so beautifully changed, right? And we, of course, now are using this new team color palette but there are more things guys so please keep watching until the end of the video coming also with the latest beta tree of android 14 there are new tips and tricks for navigation gestures now, if you go inside your setting and if you go and select display then scroll down a bit and click on navigation mode click here guys and then boom you are now getting these new tips and tricks and i mean let me show you it's really very intuitive guys it looks cool it looks very simplistic i can say that it looks very googleish this is really google when i see this i know okay google designed this why because again it looks very simplistic it's very minimalistic and in the same time it's very intuitive and of course it provides the required information that you need so this is also coming new from android 14 beta 3. There are many other changes as well that I call under the hood changes, which means that you can access them by going into the developer mode and trying to play with them. You can also go inside the developer mode and turn on the predictive gesture mode, which is not turned on by default and many other things, guys. But I decided to focus only on those changes, features that are very visible so that I, I used to say we can touch with our hand and see with our own eyes. So guys, I really am glad with what I'm seeing. Android is getting really into this direction that I think it should be allowing a bit more of customization and just become one of the most powerful mobile OS operating systems out there, which right now I believe it's the One UI because of the plenty customization options that allow the user to do changes without getting root access, installing modules and just messing up with the phone and with the phone security. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to sub for the channel if you want to see the full coverage of Xiaomi, Samsung, iPhone whatsoever. Smartphone and mobile photography is also something that I do on this channel here. That's it. Stay safe. Thank you one more time and bye.